Hello and welcome everybody. Um, so if you've seen my channel before, you'd know that I work as a full-time musician, um, quite often gigging around the UK. Um, however, at the moment during lockdown, I've been doing a lot more teaching. And uh, it's really made me kind of think about the piano that I'm using and actually be able to have a look at it, because normally it's just in a gig bag, moving from place to place, etc. Um, uh, so the piano in question is the Kawaii ES8. It's probably one of my favourite stage pianos, and I certainly gig with it a lot. It's one of many pianos I own, however, it's my go-to one because I find the acoustic sound, the way I have it set up, is the only one ever with my set of speakers that I use that people actually come up to me during gigs and say, wow, I actually thought that was a real grand piano being played. Yeah, and it, you know, the way I've got it set up is um, very fine-tuned, and I have to say, uh, amongst all the other brands, my Yamaha uh, 5 on 5, um, I also know Clavinova, quite an expensive one that I've taken to gigs occasionally, but it's very heavy. Um, my Roland FB90, all those ones, it really is the uh, Kawaii that wins for being so... We've got a little advertisement for the lorry there, uh, that wins for how good um, it is at the sound. Anyway, so this video is aimed at professionals, and it's just to show how the longevity of it's doing. So I've had it five years now, I bought it three weeks after it came out in 2015. And uh, it's been played most days, almost every day, and it gets some really quite hard use. I've done some some really big, uh, like Rachmaninoff pieces on it and things like that, and a lot of playing, taking it to theatres a lot, etc, etc. So here's how it's holding up. So the first thing I noticed is the keys have started to get dense in them. Uh, the second thing I noticed, that you may be able to see here, my light actually above me is shining, just catching that nicely, is that the keys are starting to wear away. Now, keys starting to wear away does happen. However, after five years, personally, I think that's not really on. I think that's too that's too quick. Um, they also have, you can see all these dents, yeah? And if you have a look, I actually have a bruise on this nail, so it looks like I've got a dirty nail, but I don't, it's a bruise. But when I am um, playing this, I've got really quite short nails, so there's hardly any contact there. So that's really not on. And then up here as well, you can see, because the way my fingers are, that's wearing away from my thumb and perhaps on them like this. And when I play deep in the keys, all this is starting to scratch off. You know, that's actually quite some dent in here. And I do really like the sound of the piano, but I do get the feeling they need to sort out the quality of this. Kawaii are famous for making grand pianos, right? Concert grand pianos. So they could at least put some of that longevity into designing some more decent keys. And when we compare this to other brands I've had, like Nord and Yamaha and Roland, honestly, none of these brands have done this like in about five years. Now can I guarantee this piano for three years? And I think there's probably a reason for that. The key bed now in the whole of the piano has totally gone. I'm going to have to have it replaced. Now it's only a hundred pounds to replace the key bed and I can do it myself or you could pay 50 pound labor. So it's actually quite inexpensive considering the pianos originally cost about 1,300 pounds. Um, for the build of the piano you can see it's still looking really nice. I do use it in a soft gig bag, so it's not like it's been super protected when it's been in vans and in theatre pits and all of that. It's been subject to a lot of dust. It's just going from strength to strength and its speakers still sound really good. Uh, some people say that after you play speaker through a speaker for a while you kind of break it in. This one has certainly mellowed slightly, which is nice. Um, but the way I've got it set up uh, with particularly kind of the fine tuning options and the amps and mixer that I go through um, it is doing phenomenally, I think. Something else is that there's a really good bit of metal here. You can tell basically if a piano uh, is well built. I know this sounds silly, but a lot of people say this. You'll notice on the Piano Forever channel, he's mentioned this. If you just try and push this in, usually in the middle, it, it doesn't go in to touch the keys, then you know it's okay. So I'm just dropping my computer mouse there. Um, this side panel is wood, and this is getting quite a few dents. The other side is actually worse than this, um, which really is not is not what you want to be honest because they should be they should be a lot tougher than that my Nord never had that when that was knocked the wood at the sides and that's nice and shiny you know that's quite for presentation it held up much much better than this um, however I would say that this piano is certainly stronger than the new uh, 920 version of it and I also really like the lips up here and the, the shininess of it actually looks significantly better than the Yamaha P5 on 5 and the Roland P, uh, FB90, like 100%. It just, when I use this at weddings, it just looks the part. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, this shiny finish, I think yeah, Kawaii, and to be honest, every other reviewer I've, I've uh, listened to has said the same. 
um, that it's they've kind of gone backwards. Kawaii. They've tried to make it look more modern, but there's a lot of skimping there, and they haven't really made it that much lighter anyway, if 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 at all. So yeah. Anyway, that's my little um, comments on the Kawaii about how it's holding up after five years of use. Um, that's the only things I have. Um, well, the best thing about this piano, by far, apart from the sound, is that the output from your own speakers doesn't affect the actual output from the keyboard. So for a sound engineer, it's a dream. It's a specific sound engineer. Uh, they've built it with sound engineers in mind. And because they've built it with sound engineers in mind, that means that when you do your volume here, it doesn't affect the piano's output at all, which is brilliant. So anyway, that was my six minute video just on the longevity of the uh, Kawaii ES8. And thank you for watching. It's going to be repaired tomorrow. So uh, then I have a whole new keypad and hopefully we'll be back for another five five years or so. Thank you for watching.